what's up this is Puneet Khatri back with another exciting video with Aggie Explore. So guys in this video we would be taking a look at how to just go ahead and fix that error which says waiting for activation in iMessage. So guys you might be also facing problem with iMessage or which can be either with FaceTime. So basically this fix works for both of them. Yes iMessage and uh, FaceTime both of these problems could be solved using this video. So I think we were quite excited so I think let's not waste any bit of time and get right into this video. So let's get started. So guys before we start you need to make sure three things so the very first thing is that you, uh, under the phone application you should have under contacts your number up right there if you don't see your number over there there are a couple of options how to get there under settings you have a phone option up right there when you scroll down and the very first option is my number just go in and enter your number up right there and this problem would be fixed the second point is that you need to make sure is that the date and time are set to automatic because there might be some date and time issues with your device which would lead to uh, iMessage or FaceTime not working properly so just drop down your date and time option and hit set automatically which would have the automatically set time according to your current location the third thing you need to make sure guys is that you have a working cellular or Wi-Fi network because there might be some issues with your cellular or Wi-Fi network which leads to iMessage not working and also FaceTime not working so guys once you make sure these three things are working properly fine and they are set up onto your iPhone the very first method is just go ahead and give a call to your carrier because it might be possible that your carrier does not support I message or there, there might be some limitations to your carrier or you might need to have separately apply for having I message and FaceTime and like any of the problem could be possible just uh, try giving a call to your carrier contact them so that they can help you in solving this issue the second method is that you just need to go ahead and try up airplane mode because uh, like this might sound funny but this really helped us also to like fix this problem so how to do this just drop down into settings uh, scroll all the way down and find messages. Just turn the messages off. Go on a FaceTime. Turn FaceTime off. And now what do you need to do? Just uh, go ahead and turn on airplane mode. Wait for a couple of seconds so that your entire carrier is lost so that you can again gain your carrier access and try working with them. Now let's go ahead and turn that off. You see I am uh, now I got my network successfully working. I have my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi also working. So now let's go ahead back to messages turn it on and it says waiting for activation well, fingers crossed this should work basically guys okay so um, in the meantime we'll just go ahead and also turn on FaceTime so guys, you, did you see the iMessage has successfully been activated? If I go into send and receive, you see I have all my email IDs and my phone number working perfectly fine with iMessage. So uh, you see over right there. So basically it's working perfectly fine over here. So it just got turned on and the FaceTime also you see FaceTime is working perfectly fine. So basically this uh, option did help me out. Uh, do make sure that this also helps you out. Uh, don't worry because if this does not work, we do, not, we do yet have the third method which would definitely go ahead and help you guys. The third method is just sign out of your Apple ID and again go ahead and sign in onto your Apple ID. How to do that is just go in the settings, scroll on messages, scroll on send and receive. Under here you have your Apple ID, just tap onto your Apple ID and hit over sign out. Just need to tap or sign out and basically it just goes out and sign it out from your Apple ID. Now what you need to do make sure is that again go in the send or receive, click on use Apple ID for iMessage. Now you need to just go ahead and enter your credentials which include your Apple ID and the password for your Apple ID. So guys once you enter all your details up right there and tap or sign in it would take a couple of seconds to work around and sign in onto your Apple ID and it would just go ahead and uh, have working iMessage. So you see guys it has successfully signed in with my Apple ID and again I have all the accounts and all the numbers working up right there so basically if it does not work just again go ahead and toggle iMessages off and again turn it on so basically that should definitely go ahead and help you guys yes guys definitely just go ahead and help you so guys up last if these all three methods did not work for you guys and you have the last fourth method that is left out just go ahead and uh, to go ahead and reset or either restore your device so how to do that just go ahead and tap our settings Hit our general, scroll all the way down, you get reset and reset all content and settings. Just enter the password for your device and the entire data of your device would be lost. But this would basically just go ahead and help you guys to gain access or have working iMessage. So once you have done all these procedures for perfectly fine, you would fix the error that says waiting for activation for iMessage or either for FaceTime. Alright so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you then please do give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to iGeeks blog. We have a subscribe button down right there. We 
we have a subscribe and ocean over here please do smash that because you subscribe to our channel it is thumbs up we like it a lot we make some more great content for you guys and upcoming we have a huge great content list uh, which are to be shot and show to you guys and uh, basically if you have some other questions to ask according to this video or any other thing you can just make sure to ask me in the comment section down below i'll make sure that i reply to your questions and everything and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later in my next video peace